Hi everyone, I'm Crystal Arnett here with Sequin and back with this week's edition of What We're Excited About, where we talk about shows, performances, and cultural events coming up this week that we are excited about. First up at the Park Avenue Armory is an incredible all-day event by Carrie Mae Weems called The Shape of Things. Now this concludes a year-long residency that Carrie Mae Weems has had at the Park Avenue Armory and she's bringing together over about 50 different artists to help respond and, and collaborate in her exploration of violence in our country as well as personally for her and within her own work. Some of the artists involved are Lynn Nottage, Brendan Jacob Jenkins, Basil Twist, Reggie Rock, and they, the artists uh, participating from, from you know, poets to technology to professors to theater makers, dance artists, film artists, I mean, everything that we love at Sequin is happening on Sunday. Tickets for the event are $45, but it does run for 10 hours, 12 p.m. to 10 p.m., and it's gonna be one of those once in a lifetime uh, NYC events. So. Check out the link below and go check it out. Also happening on Sunday, December 17th at 7 p.m. at the Producers Club in Midtown, She NYC Arts is presenting their Winter One Acts Festival. She NYC Arts is an organization that is uh, here to put on work by and for female identifying artists, and they had an incredible festival this past summer. This uh, series of one acts, there's five of them, will uh, be a benefit to raise money not only for She NYC's continuing projects here in the city, but a festival they're gonna put on in LA next summer, which is awesome. So check out the link and support She NYC Arts and see the winter one acts. Last month, Pages for Puerto Rico commissioned 30 artists to contribute three pages each to a full-length play, and that play is called Aftermath, and it is being presented in a reading form this Sunday, December 17th, at the Cherry Lane Theater. Now, this free reading is directed by Lainey Sakakura, and it is an entirely a benefit for Indestructible, which is an organization working to provide relief for those affected by Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico. So, there are so many artists involved, from the cast, to the playwrights, to the directors, to the team dramaturgy and everyone, and it is just an incredible coming together of the community to support the people of Puerto Rico. You can learn more at the link below, and then go see the reading on Sunday night. It's the most wonderful time of the year for me. It's Studio Ghibli time at the IFC Center in the West Village. If you're not familiar with Hayao Miyazaki or Studio Ghibli's work, this is an amazing opportunity to see them on the big screen, often in 35 millimeter prints, original prints. They screen the films both in Japanese and in English, depending on the screening, and they work their way through the full catalog of Studio Ghibli. The festival runs through January 11th, and you have more information at the IFC Center below. But whew, I am so excited to see Totoro in theaters this year, and I hope you are too. So go see the films. We can all agree we need more women in the art world, and that is the name of a week-long festival from Or Does It Explode and the Greenpoint Film Festival directed by artist Rosa Velado. And this week-long festival features a gallery exposition and interviews as we continue to try to elevate and put forth more female identifying artists. Specifically, they said, if you are a female identifying artist, they want to interview you. So get in touch with Or Does It Explode and the Greenpoint Film Festival. Check out the links below and then go see this work before it closes on the 20th. One of the most incredible things about New York City is finding art in places you may not expect it, like the UN. Right now, through January 2nd, at the UNICEF headquarters at the UN, you can experience Unpacked Refugee Baggage. This is a multimedia art piece that um, combines incredible sculptures built out of suitcases um, with, with stories that you listen to on, on headphones. And the work is meant to bring a human face to the refugee crisis. And more importantly, on Monday, December 18th, which is International Migrants Day, they are doing a full day of events. There's going to be talks, there's going to be more in-depth conversation about the work itself, and the piece is <laughs> looks stunning. So you've got a little bit of time to check out the full exhibit, but on Monday you can go and experience it even more fully. There is info in links below, but this looks like an incredible work and so important. So check it out at the UN. 
All right, everyone, so that's all for us this week. Be sure to follow us all across social media at We Are Sequin or visit us at wearesequin.org to learn about what we do and check out our ongoing Makers series. And we will see you back next week with another edition of What We're Excited About. <laughs>